Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about waveguides. So, what do you mean by waveguide? Waveguide. Guide is nothing but to give a direction. Guide is nothing but to give a direction. Waveguide. So, guide is nothing but to give a direction. We are to we are giving the direction to whom wave. Okay, that's why it is waveguide. Okay. So, waveguide is nothing but the definition of waveguide is a hollow metallic tube of the uniform cross section for transmitting the electromagnetic waves by successive reflections from the inner walls of the tube is called a waveguide. I will write here very, very, very important a hollow, a hollow metallic tube, a hollow metallic tube. Of the uniform cross section, uniform cross section for what is the purpose of this one for transmitting EM signal, electromagnetic signal for transmitting electromagnetic signal. electromagnetic signal or wave by with the property what is the property that the waveguide is taking successive internal reflections successive reflections where successive reflections where they are happening from the inner walls of the from the inner walls of The tube is called a waveguide. Okay, so I will draw a simple waveguide here so that you can understand. Okay, see whatever I have drawn here, this is the outer case, and this entire internal thing, this entire internal area is free. Okay, uh, if you see the front side of this one, front view of this, it will be appear like this. Front view of this one is like this a rectangular shape. Okay, uh, different shapes are there. Rectangular shape will be there, circular shape will be there, depending upon the type of the waveguide. Okay, I will tell the types of waveguides also. So, from the front side, it will just appear as a uh, rectangular shape where we are going to transmit the signal. So, a hollow metallic tube inside entire wall is coated with a pure conductor like aluminum or copper or gold. Okay. A hollow metallic tube inside nothing is there, it is a free that's why it is hollow. Hollow metallic tube. What is the metallic tube inside? We are using aluminum, copper, or gold for the successive reflections. You know this point when whenever we are whenever we are transmitting a electromagnetic signal onto a surface of the uh, pure conductor, definitely the signal will be reflected back. Okay, like your parabolic antenna in the case of dish antenna. Okay. So, hollow metallic tube of uniform cross section. So, wherever you see it is having uniform cross section for transmitting. What is the purpose of this waveguide? It is used to transmit what type of signal? Electromagnetic signal. Electromagnetic signal by how the signal is transmitted. If you see from the side wall, from the side it is just if you transmit any signal, that signal touches the bottom surface as it is coated with a pure conductor, it will be reflected back. Again, as the top part is also coated with the pure conductor, it will be reflected back, it will be reflected back, reflected back. So, total internal reflection is taking place because of the pure conductor. Okay. All the walls, all four walls are coated with pure conductor like aluminum, copper or gold. Okay. Uh, 
next so by success or reflections how the signal is being transmitted by success or reflections of the inner walls of the tube is called a waveguide no need to by heart the definition just if you understand the definition you can easily say a hollow metallic tube of the uniform cross section for transmitting the electromagnetic signal by success or reflections of the inner from the inner walls of the tube is called a waveguide so microwave propagates through the microwave circuits generally microwave signal how it is being propagated circuits components and devices which act as a part of microwave transmission lines broadly called as this microwave waveguides okay these are waveguides normally in the general communication we are using conducting wires like the conductor is at the center copper conductor but uh, here no conductor is there at the center nothing is there just a hollow shape it's like a box a hollow shape it is used to transmit the signal from one place to another place within the closed circuit second one is advantages advantages of this waveguides what are the different types of advantages that are coming with this when we are using this waveguides into the transmission line these are very easy to manufacture easy to manufacture they can handle large power handle very large power they can handle very large power see microwaves when we are using the waveguides they are, uh, the concept of waveguide is designing of waveguide is very easy and they are used to transmit uh, high frequencies with a very high power high power communication can be transmitted with these waveguides and uh, we may have a doubt that when we are transmitting very high power into the free space is there any power loss because of the usage of these waveguides so loss of power is also very low loss of power is also low along with these uh, advantages power loss is also low attenuation of the signal is also low attenuation is also low so power loss is low attenuating the signal is low and the microwave energy when travels through the waveguide experiences lower losses in than the coaxial cable so finally we can say it is experiencing lower losses lower losses compared to conventional or coaxial cable okay lower losses compared to coaxial cable okay so these are the different types of uh, advantages of this waveguides when we are using in the uh, microwave communication over the normal uh, cable communication now let us see what are the different types of waveguides we have different types of waveguides so there uh, they are classified based on the shape of this waveguide okay based on the construction of the waveguide so there are uh, actually five different types of waveguides uh, five types of waveguides are there five types of waveguides are available first one is a rectangular waveguide a rectangular waveguide and the second one is circular waveguide by seeing the names itself we can imagine based on the shape we can give the name circular waveguide and third one is elliptical waveguide elliptical waveguide fourth one is single ridged waveguide single ridged waveguide and double ridged waveguide double ridged waveguide so these are the different types of waveguide depending on the shape of the construction that the waveguide is having so by seeing the name rectangular waveguide is having a rectangular shape 
circular waveguide is having the shape in a circular the properties of all these waveguides is similar the properties are common for all the waveguides but the shapes are different okay uh, why what is the use of the shape shape determines the type of the application okay if you want to use a rotary joint mechanism uh, to rotate the plate of antenna then uh, circular mechanism circular waveguides are preferred not the rectangular waveguides next one elliptical waveguide so elliptical waveguide is nothing but in the form in the shape of ellipt single ridged single ridged is nothing but normally rectangular waveguide is having like this but in the single ridged you will be having a cut on one side in double ridge you will be having cut on both the sides it will be having like this okay so this is double ridged I will tell you the shapes. These are the shapes what I have drawn there. This is the rectangular waveguide, most commonly used, and this is the circular waveguide, elliptical waveguide, and the single ridged waveguide and double ridged waveguide. These are the different types of waveguide shapes we have. Most commonly in our microwave engineering laboratory for a BTEC students, we are using this rectangular waveguides. Rectangular waveguides are generally preferred for your microwave communication. I think you might have seen these uh, waveguide components in the laboratory also okay inside walls are coated with aluminium for laboratory purpose they are just using aluminium or copper in uh, uh, original communication also aluminium or copper is preferred gold is rarely preferred okay so these are the different types of waveguides thank you